You need to hear this if you're a machine reliability professional or just passionate about keeping your equipment running at its best. Hi everyone and welcome to the Monitor Max channel where we discuss all things machine condition monitoring using the latest technology. Here, we don't just provide technical insights, we also help you advance your career with industry-recognized certifications and practical skills that truly make a difference. Let's talk. But before we dive in, let's set the stage by understanding what a boiler actually is. Boilers are like giant kettles that heat up water to create steam or hot water. This steam or hot water is then used for all sorts of things, from heating buildings and powering turbines to running industrial processes. Without boilers, hospitals would be cold, factories would grind to a halt, and your morning shower would be a whole lot less enjoyable. Boilers are essential in countless industries, from power generation to food processing. They're the unsung heroes of the industrial world, quietly working behind the scenes to keep things running smoothly. So, next time you're enjoying a warm shower or a piping hot cup of coffee, remember to thank a boiler, and stay tuned as we dive into more about keeping your systems running at their best. Now not all boilers are created equal, there are different types for different jobs, let's break down a couple of the most common ones. First up, we've got fire tube boilers. Think of these as the old reliables, they've been around for ages, and are known for their simplicity and durability. In a fire tube boiler, hot gases from a fire pass through tubes surrounded by water, heating it up. It's like a giant radiator for your house, but instead of heating air, it heats water. Next we've got water tube boilers. These are the heavy hitters, often used in large-scale applications like power plants. In a water tube boiler, water flows through tubes surrounded by hot gases. This design allows for higher pressures and greater steam production. Let's pop the hood and take a closer look at the key parts of a boiler and see how each one plays a crucial role in turning cold water into powerful steam or hot water for heating. Boilers might look like big, mysterious boxes, but inside, they're a symphony of components working together to create heat safely and efficiently. First up, the burner. This is where the magic really begins. The burner is responsible for mixing fuel, such as natural gas, oil, or even propane, with air in just the right proportions. Once mixed, the burner ignites this fuel-air combination, producing a controlled flame. This flame is the primary source of heat for the entire system. Without the burner, there would be no heat, and the boiler would just be a big cold tank. Burners can be adjusted for efficiency, and modern systems often use advanced sensors to optimize the fuel-to-air ratio, reducing emissions, and saving energy. Next, we move to the combustion chamber. This is the heart of the boiler, where the fuel actually burns and hot gases are generated. The combustion chamber is built to withstand extremely high temperatures and is lined with special materials to contain the heat. Think of it as the boiler's furnace where all the action happens. The design of the combustion chamber is critical for safety and efficiency, ensuring that the heat is directed exactly where it needs to go. Then, we have the heat exchanger. This is the part that transfers the heat from those hot combustion gases to the water. In a fire tube boiler, the hot gases pass through tubes surrounded by water, while in a water tube boiler, water flows through tubes surrounded by hot gases. The heat exchanger is designed to maximize the surface area for heat transfer, making the process as efficient as possible. This is where the water absorbs the energy and starts to heat up, eventually turning into steam or hot water. After that, there's the water tank, sometimes called the boiler drum or shell. This is where the water is stored and heated. Imagine it as a giant pot on your stove, but much bigger and built to handle high pressure. The water tank must be strong enough to contain both the water and the steam, and it's carefully insulated to keep the heat in. The size and design of the tank depend on the boiler's purpose and capacity. For steam boilers, there's also the steam drum. This is where the steam collects after the water boils. Think of it like a pressure cooker, separating the steam from the water below. The steam drum helps maintain the right pressure and ensures that only dry steam is sent out to the system, which is important for both safety and efficiency. It also allows for the removal of impurities and helps regulate the water level inside the boiler. And finally, we have the controls and safety devices, the brains and the bodyguards of the boiler. These include sensors, pressure gauges, thermostats, and emergency shutoff valves. They constantly monitor temperature, pressure, and water levels, making adjustments as needed to keep everything running smoothly. If anything goes wrong, these devices can shut down the system to prevent accidents. 
modern boilers are equipped with advanced digital controls, making them safer and more efficient than ever before. Together, all these parts ensure the boiler operates reliably, safely, and efficiently day in and day out. Operating a boiler might sound intimidating, but with the right approach, it becomes a manageable and even routine task. The key is to always follow established procedures, pay close attention to details, and never let your guard down. Safety is the top priority, and every step you take is designed to protect both people and equipment. Let's break down the process into simple, easy-to-follow steps so you can feel confident every time you operate a boiler. For starting up, the first and most important thing is to check everything thoroughly. Before you even think about hitting the on button, give the boiler a good once-over. Walk around the unit and look for any obvious signs of damage, leaks, or anything out of the ordinary. This visual inspection can catch issues before they become serious problems. Check the water level, fuel supply, and all the safety devices. Make sure the water is at the correct level, the fuel lines are secure, and all safety valves are in working order. These checks are essential for safe operation. Next, purge the system. Purging means getting rid of any air or flammable gases that might be lurking inside the boiler or its piping. This step is crucial because trapped gases can be extremely dangerous if ignited. You don't want any unexpected explosions. Once you're sure the system is clear, it's time to start the fire. This involves igniting the burner and establishing a stable flame. Watch for a steady blue flame which indicates proper combustion. If the flame is yellow or flickering, stop and investigate before proceeding. After ignition, it's important to warm up the boiler slowly. Rushing this step can cause thermal stress and damage the equipment. Just like you wouldn't want to jump into a freezing cold pool, you don't want to shock your boiler with sudden temperature changes. Allow the temperature and pressure to rise gradually. Gradually increase the firing rate to bring the boiler up to its operating pressure and temperature. This helps prevent stress on the metal and ensures a smooth transition to full operation. When the boiler is running, your job is to monitor and adjust. This means keeping a close eye on all the indicators and making small corrections as needed. Keep an eye on those gauges. Pressure, temperature, and water level should always be within the safe operating range. Make sure the pressure, temperature, and water level are all within the safe operating range. Also, don't forget about water chemistry. It's just as important as the mechanical checks. Just like your car needs clean oil to run smoothly, your boiler needs clean, properly treated water to prevent damage and operate efficiently. Regularly test and treat the water to prevent corrosion, scale buildup, and other issues that can shorten the life of your boiler or cause dangerous conditions. Keep detailed records of your readings and any adjustments you make. This documentation helps with troubleshooting and ensures compliance with safety regulations. When it's time to shut down, remember to cool down slowly. Abruptly stopping the boiler can cause thermal shock and damage internal components. Don't just slam on the brakes. Instead, gradually reduce the firing rate and let the temperature and pressure drop at a controlled pace. This slow cool down helps protect the boiler from stress and extends its lifespan. Once the boiler is at a safe temperature and pressure, it's time to isolate it. Close all the valves to separate the boiler from the rest of the system. This step is essential before any maintenance or inspection work. Once the boiler is cool and isolated, it's time for some TLC. Regular maintenance keeps your boiler running safely and efficiently. Take this opportunity to inspect for any issues, clean components, and perform routine maintenance. A well-maintained boiler is a safe and reliable one, so never skip this step. Just like your trusty pickup truck needs regular checkups to keep it running smoothly and reliably, your boiler also deserves a little daily attention. Think of it as the heart of your operation. If you take care of it, it'll take care of you. Here's a quick rundown of the essential things you should check every single day to keep your boiler in top shape and avoid unexpected breakdowns. First, let's talk about water level. This is one of the most critical checks you can do. You want to make sure the water level is within the normal range marked on the gauge. If it's not, you could be setting yourself up for trouble. If the water level drops too low, you risk damaging the boiler's internal components, which can lead to costly repairs or even dangerous situations. On the other hand, if the water level is too high, it can actually reduce the efficiency of your boiler and cause water carryover into the steam system, which isn't good for your equipment. Next up is the pressure gauge. This little dial tells you a lot about what's happening inside your boiler. Always check the pressure gauge to ensure it's within the safe operating limits specified by the manufacturer. 
If the pressure is too high or too low, it could signal a problem that needs immediate attention. Then, take a look at the fuel system. This includes checking the fuel supply and making sure everything is flowing as it should. Give the fuel lines and connections a quick visual inspection for any leaks, cracks or signs of wear. Even a small leak can lead to bigger issues down the road, so it's best to catch them early. After that, listen to the burner as it operates. A healthy burner should sound steady and consistent without any odd noises. Any unusual noises, rattling or vibrations could indicate a problem with the burner or other components. Don't ignore these warning signs, address them right away to prevent bigger issues. And finally, test the safety relief valves and other safety devices. These are your last line of defense against dangerous situations, so make sure they're working properly. Staying on top of these daily checks not only keeps your boiler running safely and efficiently, but also gives you peace of mind knowing you're preventing problems before they start. A little attention each day goes a long way toward a happy, healthy boiler. Once a week, it's time to roll up your sleeves and give your boiler a little extra attention. First up, clean the burner. A dirty burner can lead to inefficient combustion and honestly, even safety hazards. Just use a brush or some compressed air to remove any soot or debris. Next, take a peek inside the combustion chamber and inspect the fireside for any signs of damage or buildup. And don't forget to check the water treatment system. You want to make sure it's functioning properly and that the water chemistry is within the recommended range. Once a month, it's time to dig a little deeper. That means you should blow down the boiler, which involves removing sediment and sludge from the bottom of the boiler to prevent corrosion and help improve efficiency. Also remove the safety valves and inspect them for any signs of wear or damage. And, yep, make sure to calibrate and test the control systems to ensure they're functioning accurately. Just like you take your car in for an annual tune-up, your boiler deserves the same level of care. So hire a qualified technician. This is really one job best left to the pros. A qualified boiler technician will have the knowledge and experience to perform a thorough inspection and maintenance. Then, go for a complete overhaul. This includes cleaning the entire boiler, inspecting all components, and replacing any worn or damaged parts. And finally, a combustion analysis will ensure the burner is operating efficiently and safely. Working with boilers can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Here are some essential safety tips to keep in mind. First, get trained. Never operate a boiler without proper training and certification. Next, wear personal protective equipment, like safety glasses, gloves, and hearing protection. Always follow lockout and tagout procedures, meaning you should de-energize and isolate the boiler before performing any maintenance or repairs. Be aware of your surroundings, because boilers are hot and dangerous, so stay alert at all times. And of course, know the emergency procedures. Familiarize yourself with what to do in case of an accident or malfunction. By following these simple tips and staying vigilant, you can help ensure a safe and productive work environment. Remember, safety always comes first. If you found this video useful, please like, comment, subscribe, and share with friends and colleagues. Also, visit our website at www.monitormaxengine.com for more helpful resources and tips. Staying connected helps you stay informed and keeps your boiler knowledge up to date.